Colt Series Lakota AC839 here at Haylet Horse Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. In my head, I call this an 8309. That's just how I look at horse trailer model numbers. Eight wide, three horse, nine foot short wall living quarters. This is a no slide model. Uh, if you'd like to see if we have it in stock and available, please visit the link in our video description and uh, or just you know give our team here at Haylet's a call. Um, eight wide, so uh, it, it has mangers in the back. It's better for bigger animals. It gives a little bit uh, wider living quarter. Um, the Colt series is the, uh, uh, I don't know, I call it, you know, working man's uh, series from Lakota. Their charter, charger series, rather, would be the, the big brother to this. And structurally, they're identical. They didn't cheap on structure here. They just peeled out some of the flashy sizzle stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be there. So... You know, for people who still punch a clock and work for a living, this is your trailer here. Now, what's cool? Most of the time when you get into a more budget-focused trailer from most brands, you start getting into aluminum over steel stuff. They didn't do that here. They were going to. That was their plan. And they looked at it and went, you know what? We just don't like it. That's not who we are at Lakota. And they stayed all aluminum. Structure, skin, everything. The only significant structural difference is they went to a wood floor in the horse area. Under the living quarter, it's still an aluminum floor, on uh, an aluminum subfloor with your constructed floor above that. So that's actually very uncommon. For these dollars and cents, you usually get aluminum over steel, but here you're still all aluminum. Um, and again, they could have saved some money by not having uh, like a third drop down window in that escape door. They could have cut out the escape door. Uh, they could have gone with a, a cheaper drop down door system. That's just not who they are at Lakota. They could have ignored the extra floodlight up here on the side where you tie your animals up. They didn't do that. That's not who they are. They could have gone to smaller tires or axles. They didn't do that because those are necessary things. Um, under the uh, um, mangers, naturally, they've got big old wide open manger tack storage. But even down here, they still included an extra little spotlight to spot your cargo. Again, I'd bet I, I'd, I wouldn't have been surprised and I wouldn't have thought less of them if it wasn't there. But that's not who they are. Basically, so like, what are the differences? I, you know, what amazes me is how much of the charger is still here. It's not what they peeled out, it's what's still here. But it's just little visual stuff, like in, they don't have a stainless steel polished wrap on the front. They don't have extruded side panels on there. You know, they're nice, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they're without value, but there's a huge money difference between this and a charger. This is, I mean, in a lot of ways, this is the smart money trailer. That's one of the things we like about them here at Halo Horse Trailers, they did a great job. They still have the same three horse uh, rear uh, tack, um, and these are Saddle Boss holders, so they do just a little bit better job of keeping the, uh, the, the saddles on there as opposed to the old V-style like carpeted ones where your saddles always fell off and ended up in a pile when you got to your destination. This is all, you can pull the pins, this is all collapsible, like according style, you can remove that. They use the exact same uh, aluminum dividers in this that they use in the big chargers. For instance, this is the, uh, it's a quiet one hand latch system. So it doesn't make a lot of noise because they put little dampeners on it. And then that is not real loud. And it's not like I'm being real careful and slowly, slowly, slowly closing that. No, you can just go like you're with an animal. It is not loud. It's not going to spook your horses. Now we've got the drop downs for airflow on the head side. We still have triple head vents. Notice this is a fully lined ceiling too. Now some of this stuff is optional. Like the line ceiling is an option on the Colt series. This is how we like to equip them though. It's not, you know, we'll, we'll probably continue to do that as long as we're able to. But understand that the one that we have in stock, it could in different ways be slightly different from what you see here. Now they still have padded dividers. I, you know, they could have peeled that out. I wouldn't have thought less of them for it. They still have the kick wall with the little rub rail so your horse doesn't get any hot spots or anything like that. You know, the uh, the stud curtain up front on your front uh, your front stall there, it still does everything that matters. And that's what this trailer is. This is the no nonsense, all thriller, no filler, everything that matters, nothing that doesn't series. That being said, we did throw a power awning on it because it's just... You know, when you're at an event, you're out in the sun, you're hot, the last thing you want to do is physically wrestle with a manual awning. So we made it push button easy for you. You don't even got to leave the inside to do it. Now you'll notice too, we've got centralized air conditioning in here. That's really, really uncommon in a, in a price focused um, uh, smaller living quarter like this, like a no slide living quarter. Now, uh, you know, it's, it's simple in here. They didn't go with flashy, fancy cabinets, but you know what? That simple looking cabinet up here in this 7'6 tall interior, 
it's just as effective as anything else. It'll keep your clothes and boots or whatever anywhere. Your cereal box is in there just as good as anything else. But it'll get it done at a heck of a lot less money. And that ain't all bad. Now, surprisingly to me, it looks like we, we optioned in the uh, bedroom swing-out TV over here. That really sort of shocked me. I wasn't expecting that. But hey, get it where you can. Big breeze windows up front and your big gooseneck uh, bed up here. Your gooseneck bunk. Um, I actually kind of like how this is a little more simple and open up front. I always feel like a lot of goosenecks are too packed full of crap. I like how this is just open. You could put a bigger mattress in here if you wanted to because they didn't put too many stupid side cabinets in there. So uh, right here next to the door, we got our handy little coat closet. Also good for shirts for those who do events and you need to keep your nice shirts all packed up. This right here, instead of DVD, they just made it simpler and smarter again. It is still Bluetooth. You can actually get a free app on your phone, any Android or smartphone. It's called J-Control, J-Control, um, to control that Jensen stereo. And you can Bluetooth to it, all kinds of stuff. I like the steps to the gooseneck for those who are a little more gravity friendly. And it seems like every couple years, the industry floats between customers wanting sofas and customers wanting dinettes. And it looks like we're coming into a dinette phase because I've noticed a lot of things coming in with dinettes lately. Now, as I flip around here, that one little coat closet was not uh, the only one in here. We've got a big hanging closet right here. Big time floor to ceiling, seven and a half foot tall storage uh, array right here for you. You will always find something to put in there. That is one thing I've learned through RV and horse trailer sales. There's always something else that you can stuff in a cabinet somewhere. The kitchenette is simple, but simply effective. What more do you need? You've got your uh, gas and electric fridge. It does have a small freezer pocket in there. Hot cold water sink, even with a little kitchen breeze through window. And little detail stuff too. Like every single light has its own switch. It, it, they didn't have to do that, but it's nice. It's extra little niceties. Uh, true sliding pocket privacy door for your walk through mid bath here. And they still went the foot flush stool. They could have gone to a centrifugal and I wouldn't have thought less. Again, I keep saying a phrase like that. But it's because at a simpler dollar price point like this, you usually get cheaper stuff. They didn't go cheaper here. They just went smarter. That's the difference. Like big, tall corner shower. As I flip around behind us, we've got some excellent additional bathroom storage right there. Extra hanging storage. I mean, this is, this is a dynamite series right here. Um, and again, compared to a full-blown uh, charger, don't get me wrong, chargers look beautiful. There's nothing wrong with a full charger. But if you don't need all that, you don't want all that, if you're just looking like, hey man, you know, no more than I use this, I don't need to go broke buying myself a horse trailer. That's exactly who this trailer's for right here. You get the same structure, same warranty, same longevity, and all the function is still here. It just looks simpler, and it's gonna save you a ton of money. Give us a call, we do a lot of volume on these, we make close deals happen, so 800-256-5196. Hale at Horse Trailers at Goldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy trails, everyone.